Whoa, no way. Welcome to Munising, Michigan. This is one of the most breathtaking places I have ever been to. Whoa. We're Dennis and Liz, full-time RVers on a summer road trip through the beautiful state of Michigan. After spending three glorious weeks exploring Michigan's mitt, we've made our way to the UP, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The UP has already blown us away with its beauty and serene nature, but Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore takes it to another level. Join us this week as we explore this national park and show you why this destination is not to be missed. Welcome to Munising, Michigan. We have been very excited to get here. This is a very popular destination for people in the UP because it is home to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, an incredible park that can be explored in a number of different ways. But our first way to explore, and probably the best way, is by water. So we have teamed up with Northern Waters Adventures to do a paddling tour of the lakeshore. I am next level excited to get out on Lake Superior and to see this place in all of its glory. The weather was absolutely insane yesterday. It's calmed down some, but it's still gonna be a little bit of a rough day. So we'll see how today goes, but I'm excited. I give you a ton of gear so that you don't get wet. I'm really hoping we don't get wet because Lake Superior is super cold. I'm ready. This is tricky. Sandstone cliffs that line Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore date back 500 to 800 million years. As groundwater seeps out of the cracks, minerals like iron, copper, manganese, and limonite decorate the cliff walls, painting them with gorgeous hues of orange, black, blue, green, brown, red, and white. Harsh winds and rough waters of Lake Superior have shaped unique geological features into the shoreline, including sea caves, arches, turrets, and blowholes. In spring, Dozens of waterfalls flow over the cliff faces straight into the lake and are best seen by kayak from the water. On calm days, the water is crystal clear, allowing you to see straight to the bottom. In one area, you can even witness the remains of a shipwreck from the late 1800s. Unfortunately, when we visited, the water was too rough to see to the bottom, but the beautiful turquoise blue and green shades of the lake against the painted cliff walls lit by the evening sun was breathtaking. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a beautiful place. And it's so fun to be out on the water, getting to see all of the different colors. You can take a boat tour if you prefer. If the weather's not great for kayaking, that is an option. But I definitely recommend kayaking or paddling. It's just such a cool, active way to get out on the water. And it was really, really fun. They made us feel safe the whole time, even with the waves being a little choppy. If you're coming here and you want to kayak, or paddle, we definitely recommend booking a tour with Northern Waters Adventures. We'll have a link to the company in the description of the video below. What do you do after three hours of kayaking? You get a pasty. If you are not familiar with pasties, 
It is a total Northern Michigan thing. I actually think it extends beyond Michigan, but it's huge here in the UP. Upers love them. And Carl from Northern Waters Adventures told us that this is one of the best in all of the UP. And he says he's a little bit of a pasty connoisseur, so I'm gonna take his word for it. We got vegetarian ones, which are cauliflower, broccoli, potatoes, I believe onions, but the traditional one is filled with beef, potatoes, and other vegetables. So if you're eating meat, I definitely suggest going that route, but we chose the veggie, which is still gonna be great. Whoa. I was concerned that this wasn't gonna be enough food for dinner, but the lady's like, they weigh a pound, and I was like, okay, <laughs> this should be enough for dinner. really good. I should have got the beef. It's like really good veggies wrapped in a nice flaky biscuit. They're kind of like handheld pot pie. All the yummy stuffings inside. Normally it would be served in a plate and they put the gravy on top. I think they're very good. I'm not blown away but I would give them another try. I think it'd be really fun to get like really creative with the fillings on the inside. I think they could do some real magic with that. If anyone has recommendations for must have pasties in the UP. Put them in the comments below. Our explorations in Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore aren't over yet. Since we've already taken you with us to explore by water, now we're going to explore by land. We are about to embark on one of the longest hikes I think we've actually ever done in a day. This is the Mosquito Falls Chapel Loop hike and it's supposed to be one of the most scenic and best ways to explore this beautiful area by land, but it's 11 miles, so it's a beast of a hike. I think it's supposed to be relatively flat and kind of a moderate, easy hike, just a long one. So we're here pretty early. We're gonna get a move on it and try and take it all we can on this hike. It's 10.30, let's start. Waterfall one of two on this hike. How beautiful. Incredible. The sun is out, so the water is that bright blue color, but the wind is roaring. There's another craft advisory warning, and the, I mean, the waves are just crashing. And this is technically Chapel Arch because it used to once be an arch. Unfortunately, it fell, but now the root system has taken place of the rock. So it still makes an arch, it's just not a rock arch. Off the trail, there's a ton of side paths that you can take that, that walk you along the shoreline, kind of veer back to the main trail, but take all of them because the vistas from each one are so unique and just stunning. I think we found our spot where we're gonna have lunch. I was smart and planned ahead. I made some egg salad that we're gonna put in wraps. Enjoy this view because it is epic. I've never seen anything like this.
counterclockwise on the trail. I definitely recommend it. I think it avoids going up a lot of steep grades. You end up going down a lot of the grades and you get all of the wow factor of the shoreline right away. So you're not fatigued and kind of like over it toward the end of the hike like we were. At the end of the path, just before the parking lot, there will be a fork in the road. If you're really tired, continue on. But if you have the gumption in you, we definitely recommend going to Mosquito Falls. We have 0.3 miles to get back. We are pooped. We made it. It's 6.30. We started at 10.30. It took us eight hours. But that's with us filming, stopping, enjoying, eating lunch for we don't know how long we took for lunch. It is a long hike. It is by far one of the most beautiful we've ever done yeah. and so worth it. For it's sure. not super strenuous, it's just long. If you can, by any means, we suggest trying it. Even if you just do part of the trail, this is well worth it. The path out here is bumpy and can be muddy if there's been rain, so just keep that in mind. And it's important to make sure you get here early because the parking lot does fill up and there's only a limited number of spots here. Like always, be a smart hiker, have lots of water, food and snacks, and it's a tip to bring toilet paper for this one when it's such a long hike. You're gonna need a bathroom break, so we bring a little bag and kind of can tuck everything away so we're not littering. So we are gonna catch you tomorrow. As we're heading out of Munising, we wanted to share with you where we're camping. We ended up finding a spot at the Munising Tourist Park, which is a city-run park right on the water. It's pretty epic, actually. It is very much like an RV park where you are very close to your neighbors. There's not much privacy. You can hear all the conversations, all the dogs barking. But it's really close to the National Park. You're right in the center of town from Munising, so it's kind of a good spot to explore. If you're coming here, I suggest booking online. They do take reservations. If not, check for cancellations and they do have an overflow parking area. If they're totally booked up, that can be a good last resort. But the point is to get here to Pictured Rocks because it is just epic. This is by far one of our favorite national parks. It literally just jumped right up to the list in the top five for sure. This was such an incredible experience and it absolutely is not to be missed. So if you're coming to Michigan, this should be number one on your Michigan bucket list. We're gonna be heading an hour north today to Marquette where we're gonna be doing some more exploring for the rest of the UP, so more adventures to come. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. Of course, if you're not subscribed, now is the time. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. We didn't have to pay anything to be here. There's no services, but the campgrounds are beautiful. It's a new day. We're at a new state park in a new city. Let's eat! <laughs> if you do go counterclockwise, if you do go counterclockwise, I'm so tired. <laughs> if you do go counterclockwise, 